1051. You're a cupcake. You need to update flows. This is a bitch behind bars getting left Riverside going upstate road. I mean... Nice town. Nice town. West Philly. No. A couple cats know me, son. I done did transactions with some OGs, and that's where they know me from. Your career? You been here. And you still lonely, son? He get love. And like Yadon and Lower Miriam, like where Kobe's from, huh? Oh, you a bum! He did his research. He is a bum! All right, it's Power 5 one home in the Breakfast Club. Thank you, Martinez. Now, I'm going to talk about the beach. You may want to be easy this afternoon, this evening, or whenever you decide to take a listen. I've got... Would, do I call you a battle rapper or just a rapper? Call me a rapper. Call me somebody that's nice. Oh, oh that's he's it. definitely nice. Cortez is in the building. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. How's everything, son? Very good, very blessed. A good day, I'm in a good mood. So talk to me about the battle rap scene, because I'm not going to lie, I'm emotional. I'm mm -hmm. sensitive. I can't have someone talking this close to my face about my baby moms and all this, and I don't <laughs> want to swing. How do you do that? Um, Years, years of discipline, you know what I mean? But it really is about getting to the bag. You feel what I'm saying? Like, now it's at a point where... You getting contracts, you getting offered. It's like UFC. You know what I mean? They booking us. And a lot of these dudes, like I say a couple years ago, it was crazy. But now we done traveled the world with all these guys. It's more like a camaraderie, like, you know what I mean? Like the NBA. You now, know what I mean? Um, talk to me about this bag talk. I like that bag talk. Yeah. I like that. And yeah. how much possibly could a possible bag get you for being a battle rapper? I mean, some some battle rappers are getting 40K, 30K a battle. 20k 40k yeah. 20k that's one side that's one side of the battle so it's like you know it's getting there i mean battle rap right now is at the biggest popularity it's ever been you know what i mean there's Why so many sponsors um i honestly think there's no mixtape market no more there's not a lot of bars anymore so you, i think, you think the radio, i think radio caused that because of I would the lack say, of... I would say everything caused it, like the Atlanta wave caused it, not even on no hating, but like the Atlanta wave. And it's just, the game has gotten so, as a game as in hip-hop, it's gotten so diverse and so popular, it's going to be too many different types of rapping. You understand? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, if you still want to go hit bars... You can't go and get a, a mixtape no more. You can't go in, in, in to, to the African and just buy all the cuts. <laughs> so what you going to do? You go on YouTube, you search, and where you going to get the balls? You're going to get the balls in the battle rap. Gotcha. You know what I mean? And it's probably one of the most truest forms of content, lyrics, double entendres, metaphors. So it's dope. It's competitive. You know what I mean? And it's raw. And a lot of times, you know, a lot of things is watered down nowadays. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, is... With battle rap being as prominent and big as it is now, is there a reason for a battle rapper like yourself to even go mainstream? Um, Very much. I mean, for me personally, I had a deal when I was younger. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it was more or less like music was always my first love. Go for battle rap, yeah, blessing. World stars, millions of views. I've traveled all over the world. But at the same time, it's like you can't be lazy. Like... All right, I'm getting to the bag now, but what's five years down the line? You don't know what's going on. I'm I'm right here chasing the money. Simple as that, whichever way it is. I know how to make music. I write on B. I've written records for other people. So it's like, this is what I do. My pen is, 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 is my money. So it's like whatever facet it is. You know, people know Cortez for, I could go to London and rap like them. I could go to Brooklyn and rap the way I'm, so like, where I came from. And at the same time, that versatility is what... Keeps me keep getting this bag six, seven years later. You know what I mean? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of like a dream. Like, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, my team will tell you, I've got get rich schemes that are never really I mean, work. I've got some schemes in my head, my, man. Listen. Why couldn't I put uh, together like an NCAA tournament battle rap type of situation? I mean, why couldn't you? You can, but can you do it with the top dogs? Why not? We need them sponsors. We need that chicken. I mean, Eminem did a reality show with us. I was just about to get to that. That's what mm -hmm. I'm saying. Cause if if someone could do it in the reality realm, mm -hmm. it, it should I should be able to put together an NCAA tournament type of thing where at the very end we got a final four niggas is battling in but you, in, in stadiums. But you uh that's 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 crazy. You know what I mean? Like I was just in Denver this week. I performed. If someone at, takes my idea, I swear for <laughs> God. Well, go ahead. I'm listen, sorry. listen. <laughs> like I was just in Denver this week. I was at the Red Rock Amphitheater. Big venue, you know what I mean? Live Nation spoke to them. They they came at me like, yo, we want to get in contact with the people to book these type of events. That's 3,000, 4,000 people. I was on the music tip, but at the same time, they came at me like, yo, we could do this, 
and we could do a lot more. It really just has to be the right people being around it. I felt like with the reality show, it was cool, but they ain't market us the way they were supposed to. So I think now a lot of us top tier battlers, we understand that we are pushing this wave. We pushing this culture. So we have to like pick and choose what we want to do. You know what I mean? Mm. So Sunday sit down, your main man, M. Easy Cortez is in the building. Talk to me about Tears Over Tears. Um, Tears Over Tears is a league that I started. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to sit here and try to compete with Smack. I'm not going to sit here and try to compete with, with King of the Dot. So what I'm doing is I get sent all over the place to host battles. New guys. Guys that will never be seen in fucking Idaho and, 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 and wherever, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. So when I go there, I, I pay attention. I see who's got talent. I keep in contact with these dudes, get these dudes some pointers, and then I throw an event in New York. I invite them out. They battle, and I pick the right battles, and I have the right people watching them. I might not get the crowd that Smack has, but I definitely got the right people in the building to watch these guys, scout these guys. And then now when they want to holler at them and bring them to the next level, the ball you. steps in. You gotcha, know what I mean? I'm gotcha. playing I'm playing more like an agent. You know what I mean? LeBron's represented by an agent. So what I'm doing is I'm building a whole new staff and I'm building a whole little roster. And now y'all come through me and I make sure these guys get treated right and at the same time they get the light at the end of the day. Balls so, move. Who absolutely who's on the roster so far? Um, I got my young dude, I am Mars. He's crazy. He just battled Bill Collect on Friday. Salute to him. Um, my man Zoe Green. Um, T Sawyer, Sirach, you heard. I got, I got, I got, I got a little roster right now. You know what I mean? Salute to them. I need an invite for the Rainbow. next for the next situation. I want to come out and see what it's like. That's what a fact. Like. I'm, I'm gonna make sure we do that. Please do. Oh, let's do that. And I want you to keep it real. But like, yo, Koi trash. You know, I'm not gonna give you anything. <laughs> Come on, man. So they sit down. That's what we do. Um, Cortez in the building. Now, you've been doing this the rap thing for a while. Yeah. Is there anyone that you haven't battled that you really, really want to get a shot at? I mean. See, I don't want to seem like I'm chasing a dude, but the only two dudes that really make sense for me at this point is probably Calico and Sue Surf. Besides those two dudes, like I've battled Sue everybody. Surf, shout to Jersey, I know Sue Surf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surf, Surf is Surf is dope. You know what I mean? We, we, we. That's the biggest grudge right now between me and Surf. Really? So it's like everyone been asking for it. He on his little pedestal. Can, can we set me? this up? Cause I need a bag. Listen, now. I, I want to get some money. Can we I, set yeah, this up. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't care. The bag Anywhere? is there. I don't care. Oh, I don't care. The bag is there. We doing it. Right, Say no we're more. We're going to come back to that. <laughs> come back to that. I like that bag talk. Sunday sit down. Jermaine, man, I'm easy. Um, give me some misconceptions about battle rappers. Making music. A lot of battle rappers. Well, I'll break it down. Five, ten years ago, a lot of dudes was like getting deals off the battle raps and they wasn't being successful. But I keep it real. Labels sign people every day and they're not successful. Absolutely. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody, like, half the game is a tax write-off. So I look at it like this. Now a lot of us... We're independent. We created our own lane. We have our own market. We have our own fans. We're selling out shows on our own. Like, I just came off tour. You feel me? I don't need a label behind me. What I want the label behind me if we get in the bag. You, you feel me? But at the same time, we can work and actually be sufficient and feed our families without it. And me just noticing that there's a lane for everybody. You know, even when fucking Hove and, and, and Big was out, you still had two short on the West Coast, and he not the greatest rapper, but he found his lane. Mm. And I feel like a lot of battle rappers now are finding their lane musically. And the fans nowadays got to fuck with you for who you are, not just how good you are. They just got to believe in you and believe in the brand. So that's a big misconception. We can't make music, but I'm the exception, so it's all good. Cortez in the building. Yeah. It's a Sunday sit down. I like this talk, man. I'm not going to lie to you. This money talk, this bag talk, I like that. Um, Brooklyn, that's why. Yes, see, there it goes. It's that Brooklyn talk. You know? Um. Talk to me about the battle you had with Ness. Cooked him. Nasty. Nasty. Um, what was that, like a month ago? Yeah, like a month ago. Mm -hmm. We went out to Philly. Shout out to Gilly. You know what I mean? Shout out to Black Denaro. Those the bros out That's there. That's the homie, Black Denaro. Black, man. Black was on my showcase. first mixtape. Yeah, he, he did a showcase on yesterday. Uh, I, did, I did a radio in Philly. Mm -hmm. Black Denaro was one of the first guys, QDZ, QDZ on the air in Philly. He mm -hmm. introduced me to Black Denaro. Um... Uh, Big Mike was a Big Mike or Black Mike something like that in Philly mm -hmm. and D Black Denaro really embraced me the whole nah, that's the, I, I that's the bro right there he fucked with me from like day one like my first battle he came out to and um, we just clicked it from there we went out to Philly fuck with Cosmic Cav fuck with everybody you know what I mean I go out there I ain't seen him in three years he was like yo you battling Ness I'm pulling up pulled up nice feel me real dude real dude um, Gilly always been real with me Gilly the kid yes you know Philly is biased so I went in there knowing that 
and I just went ball heavy on him. And ball heavy was just like undeniable. Like everyone just sitting there like, nah, he's smoking his boots right now. Like lyrically, like I just, I put him in a bag, you know? Shout it out to him though. It was the best Enes dude seen in years, but it just wasn't enough. Who, in your opinion, gave you the toughest battle? Hitman. Hitman Hollow? Yeah, that's a classic. That was the biggest one. I think it was my, it was him coming from St. Louis, me coming from New York, and both of us were trying to prove ourselves. We both had names. I had just come off the Conceited Battle and the, and the Head Ice Battle. He was coming off a Big T Battle. Smack, it was just built up right, and I thought I was going to cook him, and he was going crazy too, and it, you know, it ends up being a classic, but I definitely will say that was really one of the toughest ones and probably the Hollahan Battle, which is like my most famous battle ever, you know what I mean, Canada. Now, do do battle rappers um, care about the beef of mainstream artists, like the Meek Mill Drake thing? Does that even you looking at them like y'all niggas ain't real? It's fake. It's shit. okay. Yeah, it's all right. Whatever, whatever sells. If you getting chicken, you getting chicken. I never hate on that. You know what I mean? Um, Drake won, but you know you also gotta look at it. The real niggas is not in the minority. The real niggas is the minority nowadays. Mm -hmm. So it's like Drake made a better record. Drake had a better game plan. It wasn't really about the music. It wasn't really about the lyrics. It was more or less about who really had a game plan in the art of war. And like Drake just set it up and Match. did him filthy. Yeah, you know you can't never, can't be lacking out here. I like this guy Cortez, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> they sit down, <laughs> Jermaine, man. I'm easy Cortez is in the building. I mean, I don't got no chicken on me, but can I get some bars, God? You can always get some bars. Let me see what kind of what 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 kind of. Ben, what kind of, um... You surprise me, man. I just go in the... No, 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 no. Nah, no, nah, no, nah. No, we no, can't do that. No, no, no. That, that, was, that was a mistake. It was a mistake. <laughs> it wasn't meant to be there. Um, Let me see on, what I on, got in here. Something else? Nah, we could do that. Let's turn this up. It's a Sunday sit down. I'm about to put together something with all these rappers that got bars. Cortez in the building. Uh. Let me hear something, man. Go out. We could do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm here to raise my stock up. Fake niggas mad cause they not us. Never spent the day up on the lockup. No respect, niggas probably make them take the top bunk. So I'm getting PC off everything in my cut. But it feels like everything's in my cup. I think big with a flow that wakes Pac up. The street sweeper come first and get him mopped up. Big differences, we coppers, they coppers. I was down on one knee about to forfeit, lost it. Now I'm looking suited, I'm suited cause I'm a boss. Bitch living this with no fear, so clear. Got me on the road to riches. Headed nowhere still I be on the road to riches but I won't spare I keep the money in the bank in the coke yeah, keep the drug money off these features And ask your favorite star tender about the penis A freak bitch, I'm the one she succeeds with You get it? Succeed? Okay, look, fools dropping dimes Never change off a quarter pack Keep three-fourths and all I need is a quarterback You street dreaming, yeah, I learned all of that The corner front office with the smarts off the corner scrap I'm on to that, I order packs, I tell them order that Yo, a little order, now we all in You want it back? Well, that's your wife, she keep calling. I'm fucking to the morning. I'm busting in your crib without the warrant. First name, Lauren. Bad bitch, foreign. I'll eat it thonging. I'm going in there raw and fuck. All these bitches, I don't give a fuck. No, nope, I just finger fuck. Get a fuck, then go up in the gut. I ain't with this prison stuff, wifing. With the cuffs, Instagram liking. Private, you hit her up. Nah. No, but if your bitch reply. Something like. Something like. When he said the famous star tender succeeds with me. <laughs> bang, bang. Brooklyn. Um, and we, we don't gotta talk. Give him the Instagram. How do you get in contact with me? I'm, I'm, I, I can't talk to him after that, guys. He's like, he's <laughs> <seeds. Who the laughs> At Cortez underscore HSP. That's the gram. That's the Snapchat. Fuck with my snap, man. I'm, I'm hilarious on a snap. Um, At Cortez underscore HSP. Twitter. Everything. You know what I mean? Fuck with me. I got the, um, I got my project coming out next month. Got a few singles. A lot of heavy hitters on it. Devon Terrell, Trey Pizzy. Genuine, like I'm, I'm working right now. You feel what I'm saying? Son, I'm gonna say this, and my manager's back there. If I could put you and Sue Surf on a boat ride for the battle, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. Let's do that. I'm get, I'm get, I'm Let's do that. I, I think, I think we might have to do. Let me get the boat to the ride. bag. Work on a boat. Some battle raps on a boat. 
some things on the boat though. Oh, oh we, you know, see, a lot of these better if it's got a lot of niggas. I want to see some things. No, see, you feel what I'm we're, saying? We're just building here. I'm going to show you no how, 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 how I play. All right, say no more. Cortez in the building. It's Sunday. Sit down. Thank you for coming through, ah, Pleasure, pleasure, bro. Um, Don't be a stranger. We're going to talk. We got to nah, build. Polly, let's build. My bang, bang. You already know. Another example of how easy does it. Who y'all want? Five one.